You're listening to Alfie Lynn and the Community Link crew on GFM 96.6. Okay, as I said, we have in the studio with us Richard Pike, and he's here to talk to us about the Gloucestershire Lottery. Welcome to GFM Studios, Richard. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. Okay, you're welcome. Now, I know nothing about the Gloucestershire Lottery, and I don't know how um, much our listeners know about the lottery. So, do you want to begin by telling us, you know, what, what's its origins? Well, the origin, you'll probably um, tell from my accent that I'm not a born in Gloucestershire, and I'm from Pembrokeshire originally. Um, I've been in living up in Gloucestershire now for some six years, and I've got involved with a, a local charity, which I do some uh, volunteer work for, and try to raise some funds for them um, but where I'm from originally is uh, Pembrokeshire down in West Wales and um, in Pembrokeshire they've had the Pembrokeshire lottery running for some 13 years and, and I can remember when I was a lot younger starting up and how popular it was and so forth and so on and when I got involved with a local charity the James Hopkins Trust uh, my first thoughts were was I'll approach the Gloucestershire lottery to see if I could raise some funds from them and when I checked into the Gloucestershire lottery there was no such thing uh, that was over a year ago, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we um, started the Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire Lottery, uh, raised some finances to sort of buy software and computers and so forth, and we launched last April. Okay, so the Gloucestershire Lottery, what exactly is it and what does it do? Right, mm-hmm. the Gloucestershire Lottery, uh, it says what it is on the tin, it's, uh, it's a lottery, but it's for the people of Gloucestershire. Every penny that's made from this lottery stays in Gloucestershire, nothing goes out of the county. Um, it's run by volunteers, uh, you know, living in Gloucestershire. Um, uh, the, the money is raised primarily for the James Hopkins Trust, which is the main charity for, uh, that it's working with the lottery at the moment. Um, they look after um, children who are disabled, uh, life-limited or life-threatened um, illnesses and they supply respite care in their home which is a well worth cause you know, and that mm-hmm. takes a lot of money they need over £300,000 a year to raise money for that but what we also do as well we get involved with other charities and help them raise money in the same in the same way so if people will join our lottery, it only costs a pound a week to play. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to make anyone a millionaire. Last week's winner won £500, uh, and it varies on the amount of players we've got. But the more players we can get playing in Gloucestershire, um, the more uh, prize money we can raise, uh, which will make it more interesting for the people playing it, and the more we'll make for charities in Gloucestershire. Okay. And that's why I want people to join if we can. So it's a pound per ticket? Yeah, yeah it's just, um, we, we've got a website, uh, www.gloucestershirelottery.co.uk. Um, and there's an application form on there. You just print it off, fill it in, send it in, and you can pay two ways. Um, you can pay just four pound thirty-three a month, which is just works out a pound a week over the year, uh, and that will buy you one number. We send you the number then, and then you can see the result of the lottery every week on our website uh, and also on our Facebook uh, group. Okay, so you join, you make a commitment to join for a year. Well, no, you can you can join for a month. Oh right, so yeah, whatever you can, amount yeah, of time you want to, you want to join. Do. The, the minimum is a month. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also um, you can you can pay by check, but then. We, because of the processing of checks and so forth, we'd rather people just send in twenty six pounds and join for half a year. Mm-hmm. But it, you know, no people can join join for a month, and it'll only cost them four pound thirty three. And uh, you know, they've, they've got a good chance of winning some money, and, and they're mm-hmm. helping children throughout the county. Okay. So, did you say it's a weekly draw or a monthly draw? It's a weekly draw. Weekly draw. Yeah, it's a weekly okay. draw. And what day is that draw take it's place? It's drawn on a Wednesday. And uh, where can people see the results? They, they can see it on our website, uh, Gloucestershire Lottery, uh, and on our website as well. Okay. So the website will tell you everything thing about the lottery but also how the money you know that you do raise is being donated absolutely okay. yeah how many people have you got actually subscribed to the the, the gloucestershire lottery well we're up now uh we're over the five around the 500 mark that have joined so far um but if we work on the Pembrokeshire um model they've actually got three and a half thousand players on a population of a hundred thousand mm-hmm. well we've got five hundred thousand people living in gloucestershire so we just got to get the word out there for people and hopefully just get local businesses involved mm-hmm. um, um, again, that's been very popular in, in, in Pembrokeshire. Um, you know, l- small businesses, doesn't matter how small they are or how big they are, can offer their staff to join through a payroll um, offer, mm-hmm. which again is very, very popular down in West Wales. So there's lots of different ways that, you know, we just need people to think about it and just get in touch with us and, um, and we'll, be, we'll be over there to talk to as many people as we can. Okay. So the, the idea of the lottery then is, you know, if people... Buy, um, subscribe for a minimum of a month or, yeah. or subscribe to whatever amount of time they want to. Pound a week, weekly draw, potential to win, you know, like you said, last week's winner won £500. Mm-hmm. But the more they're in, the more that you're likely to win as well. Absolutely. But the good 
the good thing is that the money stays locally, unlike what would happen with the, the national lottery. The money is local, so it would go to local charities. So you kind of invest in to support charities at the same time, yeah, a, local a lot, charities. A lot of people that are joining us, uh, you know, they're, they're a little bit, you know, the lottery, yeah, it's, it's a dream. You know, you could win millions of pounds on the mm. national lottery, uh, you know, and uh, but we're just trying to create a little bit of fun you know a little you know we've had people in the lottery won twice now mm -hmm. and uh, you know people will know each other who've won you know we have the little you can have your photo on there we've had people from 18 years to 89 years old who've won we've paid out nearly nearly 15,000 pounds so far since we've started in prize money oh right so that's uh, a so, considerable you know, amount then yeah oh yeah and the, yeah. but where we are at the moment the more people we can get more players we can get involved now the more money we'll make for the charity yeah okay then so what are the odds of somebody winning have you, have you, have you, well it's 500 to what, it depends how many people's in, but, it's, you know, on, mm -hmm. but if you if you wanted to win five if you wanted to win five hundred pounds on the national lottery, it's one point two million to one. <laughs> so and with us, it's five hundred to one. That, so you know, right, so your one, odds but, are greater, yeah. although the um, the output is less. But the, it's yeah. about it's about looking at supporting local charities as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, that's what it's all about. Okay, so now you, we were before we came in. You were talking about um, the, how you could use this local lottery and to for, for GFM to be able to for our listeners to be able to support um, the GFM fundraising cause as well. Wouldn't Absolutely, because mm -hmm. we, we're looking to help as many um, co good causes, charities as we can in the county. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, as, as much as we can. And you know, one thing I'd like to invite your, any of your uh, listeners out there who would like to join our lottery. Like I said, visit our website, put in the application. If they just mark on the application form in, in the middle of the form it says where did you hear about the lottery and if they just put gfm there for every one of your listeners that joins we will donate five pounds to your cause to keep your station going okay see so that is a worthwhile cause you not only will be supporting other local lotteries you'll be supporting gfm 96.6 in its fundraising drive and that's quite that's a really sort of dynamic way of of actually supporting gfm 96.6 because everybody can be potentially a winner in, the, in that sense and you will be um you know entered into the lottery draw yourself so do consider um joining that lottery course because at four pound minimum of four pound thirty three yeah you can sign up yeah it's um and that would, that would come direct out of your bank account every month. Okay, but what, what, I would, what I would urge people to do, you know, even if they don't want to join, please join our Facebook group, mm -hmm. the Gloucestershire Lottery. And, you know, they can help us spread the word, even though, you know, it's not the most um, prosperous time at the moment and people might not be able to afford it. But if just by helping us spread the word, by inviting people on there, mm -hmm. and just word of mouth would do a, a wonderful mm -hmm. favour. And help it to grow. 500,000 citizens in the Gloucestershire County. Um, so you, you're looking to try and grow that, um, grow the number of people that you've actually got signed up to your lottery. Yeah, we're going to half by tomorrow, that'd be great. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're relying on you, listeners of GFM 96. .6. Six to step up to the plate and um, make that lottery ticket, ticket perch. Forget about the Euro Millions and the National Lottery. Think about supporting your local cause, even if it's for a very short period of time, because you know you, you will be keeping your money, lo money local, but you'll also be supporting GFM ninety six point six in its fundraising campaign. Just uh, just remind, you know, apart from James Hopkins, which other charities have you been supporting? We've um, been involved with um, St John Ambulance, which we're, we're, we're ever so pleased about that. Mm -hmm. um, um, we've been involved with them. We've been we're doing some work with um, some forest fundraiser uh, down in the Forest of Dean. Um, and there's a couple of other sort of um, uh, play groups as well, which mm -hmm. is similar similar things to what you you know what you've done with you with the five pound sign up. They've done as well. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the more we grow, the bigger it gets. Mm -hmm. You know, if we if we got if we were the same hit rate of the amount of people as in Pembrokeshire, we would be making over a million pound profit a year just to give to charities. Right, that's a significant amount uh, it's of money. It's a huge isn't amount of money, it? Yeah. It, you know. And I, and I would really hope that you know the businesses the community would get behind this as well, because I do find it very difficult at the moment to um, actually get um, some support from you know from some of our larger employers, oh, right. you know, mm -hmm. in the community as well. You know, they're um, I know it's I know it's something new for Gloucestershire, but I, it, it definitely works in Pembrokeshire, and it's mm -hmm. a fantastic thing, don't it? Okay, um, not too dissimilar in terms of makeup of the county, so. You know, one would hope that um, Gloucester sees the importance of it and the value of it as well. And so. helps to um, develop and grow. It's Pembrokeshire's a bigger county, isn't it? Although it's no, uh, no, but a population is about about a hundred thousand. So so it's. A, I just thought it was bigger in terms of its size, but smaller population. Yeah, you know, it's a much smaller population. Yeah. Yes, but um, yeah, they. I, I can remember that it, it it just went by word of mouth. You know, when people were saying, "Oh, have you joined?" and people were joining from recommendation. Yeah. And it, you know, that's what I would like to encourage if we can. Okay, we have a motto here on GFM ninety six point six, and it's 
tell a friend to tell a friend. So that's the way we hope that um, our listeners and our supporters will hopefully spread the word um, regarding the Gloucestershire Lottery. And um, do join up, do join up, because, you know, as we know, you know we're we're trying to raise funds here on GFM 96.6. But you'll also be, you know, the opportunity to win something and the opportunity to be supporting your local charities. It's all about local. The government keeps going on about localism and it's about um, developing locally and supporting things that are happening locally and all the big societies. So that could be one of the ways in which you, um, GFM, get, get involved through GFM 96. Point six. Just remind people um, of the contact details and how they can actually play the national lottery, yeah. the Gloucestershire Lottery. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they can they can go to www.gloucestershirelottery.co.uk or .com. Um, it, you can see the past winners on there, and you'll see application form. You just click on that download it, print it off, and then you can post that into the James Hopkins Trust when the address is on there. Mm-hmm. Um, the ways to pay is quite clear on there. Or you can join our Facebook group um, as well, which the information's on there, the Gloucestershire Lottery Group. Mm-hmm. And um, also you can email me if you want to get hold of me, you can contact me on info at gloucestershirelottery.co.uk uh, or you And your name is? Richard Pike. Mm-hmm. Or you'll see me all over the Facebook group. Okay then. Now, um... I did hear you say that people from the age of 18 upwards have won. Now, the National Lottery, the criteria is you've got to be 16, isn't it? So, do you have to be 18 for the Gloucestershire? No, no yeah, absolutely. Sorry, yeah, it's a very good point. No, mm-hmm. 16 years and up. So, uh, 16 years and up and uh, no, no upper limit, but uh, yeah, so okay. 16 is the minimum age. Right, brilliant. Okay, Richard, thank you very much for coming in and um, sharing that with us. It sounds quite exciting and a great opportunity, obviously, for GFM 96.6, but also a great opportunity for the people of Gloucester and our listeners to be supporting local charities as well and an opportunity to win some money with much better odds than playing the other game. So there you go. Thank you very much. (laughs) Thank you very much. You're listening to the Community Link Crew on GFM 96.6. Tell your friend, tell a friend, 96.6 GFM.